Welcome back to the sixth episode of setting up your run cloud server. In this episode, uh, we're gonna go through the light speed settings, and also uh, we're gonna enable Redis object caching feature. So as you can see, I created a new WordPress application just for this tutorial. And when we go to the dashboard, usually what I do. When I deploy new WordPress, I set up these uh, settings that I will show you on every every single website. So when you go to the general general section of a light speed caching plugin, here is the server IP. You can put the server IP manually that you have from a server, but you can also check your public IP and uh, paste it here, and you click save. Uh, in tuning tab, we don't really have much to do. This is uh, for the guest feature that we will cover in uh, another series for uh, how you can set up Quick Cloud. Uh, next part, we're gonna go into the uh, cache. Uh, in the first tab, uh, you want to enable uh, Cache Mobile. You can click Save. Time to leave, you can leave this as it is. In the perch, uh, doesn't really matter too much, but uh, you can set up some uh, auto purge rules when you update the content of the website on, or uh, when you publish a uh, new blog post or anything. In excludes, you can uh, use, uh, you can set up uh, features like that you don't want to cache administrators or authors inside of uh, the WP admin dashboard. I'm not using it. For edge size includes, uh, unless you have uh, WooCommerce, we don't need to do edge size includes. Object caching. Uh, when you first go to the object caching feature, you will see that the connection test is failed. And the reason why it is failed because we need to start up the Redis series inside of the Run Cloud server. So when we go back to our dashboard, you go to the uh, services on your main server. And as you can see, we have um, memcached or Redis cache. Uh, for my testing, uh, Redis is uh, way too much faster than a memcache, and I really recommend you using only Redis. So when you go there, you click Start, you confirm, and the Redis is now active on our server. Uh, some panels have already Redis activated, but also they have activated in the server memcache service. And that's really not good because it can fight together and it can consume too much memory if not configured properly. So when you see confirmation that the service is running, we can go back to the light speed, we refresh the page and we can select the method Redis host gonna be localhost and uh, redis is communicating on port 6379 and you click save changes as you can see our connection test is now passed so we successfully set up our redis caching next up is browser and you can enable browser cache as well and in the advance, uh, you can set up like instant click. That means when you hover over the link on the website, the page will load automatically in the background. So users will have instant pages. Next thing, uh, what I'm doing, I set up the image optimization before I upload any images. And in order to use image optimization settings, you will need to set up the quick CDN integration with the light speed. So we can uh, 
basically you want to request automatic run that means when you upload the image it will automatically optimize the images you can set up if you have some uh, photographic websites you can uh, optimize lossly that means you will preserve the maximum quality but your images will be optimized for a preserve data we don't need any data we want to create a web version also we want to enable the replacement and also web for extra sources we can enable this and click save as you can see we need to set up our quick CDN so we go here and you re request domain key and after a minute or two you will get a link where you can sign up to the quick CDN next, uh, uh, next thing we can check is the page optimization Usually I enable only minifying features in CSS. That's fine. And JavaScript you want to minify also. HTML you want to minify also. Uh, you can set up DNH prefer, uh, prefetch control. That means uh, it will find all the DNS requests to the other servers and it will preload those requests in the bank, uh, background. Also, it is a good uh, thing to remove query strings. And if you are not using Google Fonts or emojis, you can remove those. And also, all non script tags you can remove from your code or website. In the media settings, this is pretty straightforward. If you want to lazy load images or put some uh, features from the quick CDN. For the viewport images, this, we will be covering this uh, when we create a new a quick CDN guides and a playlist. And for the localization, you can cache your graviter. And in the tuning tab, if you have some uh, third party scripts that you are hosting on your site or that you are loading from other websites, you need to put the JavaScript here because it will automatically optimize all of JavaScript, but some scripts really doesn't like that the light speed is going to optimize them. So you need to manually whitelist scripts here. For example, if you have a plausible script that is not loading, you just uh, need to put your plausible plausible the JS here and when we scroll down you can also put plausible JS here and that's pretty it also Lightspeed have a really good feature with the databases you can clean your database expired trans uh, transient and all the other stuff and also we can set up the revision numbers for example, you want to have only two maximum revisions and only store them for two days. That means you don't need to use any third party plugin for your basic database optimization. And I think we covered everything in this. And uh, if I miss something from the run cloud, some feature that I did not cover, please let me know down in the description and I will try to answer all of our questions or I can create another part of this. If you like my content, please subscribe. It really makes me happy to see that you are commenting my videos and it is really helpful to you also. So stay tuned for another series. As I mentioned, uh, we will be covering a quick CDN and all the settings that you can enable in the Lightspeed ecosystem. Take care and bye bye.